Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. I hope today has been treating you well. In today's video I have got a load of new bits from Seventeen. If you don't know, I'm just going to let you in on a small secret. The Seventeen Second Skin Enhancing Concealer, I already have it on because it's not a new product. Look how little product I have in this. Like genuinely, I was scraping the outside of this just to apply some around my eyes today. One of my all time favourite products. It's absolutely beautiful. So much so, I got a backup. And future Millie, <laughs> just for reference, because this is the second one that I had to order because I just ordered completely the wrong shade the first time. 001Y. That's the shade that I wear in con like the concealer shade, like what I wear around my eyes. But I already have some of my base products on, foundation and a little bit of cream bronzer, but it's not cream bronzer, it's another shade of the seven second skin enhancing concealer this one is in 003p and I have this one like as a little wash of a bronzery sort of shade and obviously I've already got my brows on which isn't a 17 product and the foundation that I'm wearing is Lottie London but I have a load of new products I went into Boots and I saw these on the stand and I didn't even realize that they brought out these new products because they weren't on the website and then when I went to go and look on the website they were there so some of these bits I got in store and some of them I got online so what have we got we've got a shimmery bronzer that's why I've already done like a liquid bronze so we've got a shimmery bronzer we've got a new marble highlighter and look at that I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like on my very very fair skin and they did only have one shade of this, so we'll see what that's like. I got two shades of the Tinted Lip Butter. I got Dusty Pink and Peach Nude. So we'll see which of those I want at the end of the video. And I also got, and this is the product that I'm gonna start with, the 17 Lip and Cheek Stick. And I got this in Coral Sunset. How pretty. So it does look like I've already used it, but this was one of the products that I ordered online and it was rattling around in the box and I've had to like clean it up and stuff. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to use a Real Techniques Expert face brush. I don't know if a brush is necessarily the best way to use this. I'm going to just draw this straight onto my face. I'm going to be brave. <laughs> I'm going to try and be brave. So I don't know how pigmented this is. So let's just start with that much. I do like quite a lot of blush, so not necessarily too worried. I also really like an orangey blush, so let's see what this looks like blended out. Okay, that's not as scary as I thought. What I will do is I'll just scribble this onto the brush a little bit get quite a bit of that color on there like I say I don't really know how to use a product like this because obviously it's for lips and cheeks so that's why it's quite small but I feel like drawing that onto my face is a recipe for disaster so <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like this I really like that color like I really really like that colour and that's blending out beautifully can you see the glow from that because it's like creamy and hydrating it does say on the back of here that it's got moisturising coconut and avocado oil so I love that like the way that that looks on the skin is so like juicy and hydrating let me even myself up on the other side okay so I have just sort of tapped that basically like over my eyes as well because I don't have any eyeshadow or anything but I love that color I am just gonna bounce over the center of my face a little bit with the sponge that I use to blend out that concealer 
but I love that colour um, and they, they had a few different colours obviously I went for the orangey one but I think that that is beautiful I will try it on my lips as well like at the end but obviously I've got those lip products too so let me go ahead and get into the shimmery bronzer so I got this in the lightest shade which is 010 it does look very warm I don't mind a warm bronzer in fact I love a warm bronzer so oh that looks really nice that looks really really nice very pigmented I was worried that this was going to look glittery on the skin but actually from that swatch I think that's just going to look really nice and luminous so I'm going to use what I always use which is a Real Techniques blush brush I like these because they're quite precise they are like a tapered brush but also it's still a big brush so you can be quite precise with the application but then you can like blend it out quite far I'm just going to make sure that that blush is blended out exactly how I want it because once you go in with the powder there's no going back so I'm going to just dip in a few times and dip rather than swirl and let's see how this goes one of my favorite bronzers of the summer so far is that made by Mitchell one and that is a very very luminous so I'm definitely in my luminous bronzer moment this is blending beautifully it doesn't look too luminous like it's definitely glowy it's definitely adding that lovely warm juiciness to the skin but there is not a single bit of like chunky glitteriness so I'm basically just putting this all over where I put that concealer cream bronzer I love that I really really love that it's quite a different undertone to the other glowy bronzers that I have so very very happy with that I'm just gonna bring it down to my chest a little bit because I have not seen the sun in quite some time I would actually love it if they brought out shimmery powder blushes because I tried the powder blushes from 17 and I don't think all that much to them I mean they're fine they're fine I definitely got like a dark purple shade that just looked like a bruise on my skin tone but let's try the shimmery highlight I'm very very interested to see what this is going to look like on my skin I will say that this packaging is not great oh there we go I'm finally in so this is what the pattern looks like inside there were because I got this one actually in store and there were some that were slightly more bronzy than this there were ones that were like this like more like a 50 50 split between the darker shades and the lighter shades so obviously I went for one of the lighter ones because obviously so where's my highlight brush this one I'm just going to see what I think of this color I'm going to swirl into all of them that <laughs> oh I messed up that is the same depth as that shimmery bronzer so <laughs> slightly more pink I actually might prefer that on my skin tone because I like quite a red bronze rather than like an orangey bronze so I actually think I might prefer that shimmer highlight as my glowy bronzer topper sort of a feeling I'm not even going to try that on my face because that will make me look insane I was hoping that more of the lighter colours would come through but you can see where I've swelled that together 
that has just gone very bronzy. I think if you have a deeper skin tone, you would absolutely love that. And by the way, this is 01, yeah, 010 champagne. But I think that this was the, it was the only one that I saw. So I don't know if there were more shades, but if you have a deeper skin tone, that is going to be the most beautiful, warm, bronzy, toasty highlight. But for me, that is a bronzery shade. I think I'm good for bronzer. <laughs> I don't think I need any more, but I do feel like I need a bit more blush. So I'm gonna try and just add a little bit more blush. I could absolutely mess this all up now. I do actually feel like that's gone over the top of the powder product really nicely. So I don't have anything new for the eyes. Well, nothing new, new to the market. It is still new to me. I picked up a new shade of the 17 Ink Legend Tattoo Eyeliner. If you haven't seen my channel before, the bronze one, this is a backup, the bronze one is absolutely incredible. Again, one of my favourite products of all time. Um, but I picked up the white shade because I want to do that like double liner thing that I do and I want to do it with the blue, like the blue and the white. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If I can, <laughs> I'm going to have to find my scissors. I need to get into this product. Um, but I did also get a new mascara, which again, I'm going to have to like rip my way into. This is the 17 Ultimate Lasting Curl Mascara. One of my favourite mascaras of all time is the 17 one and it is the Maximum Curl. I'll put a picture up here. The Maximum Curl mascara. They didn't have one or I would have bought that one when I was in store, but hoping that this is going to be, yeah, it says it's waterproof, light and creamy formula, gives lashes a perfect curl effect all day, every day. Love the sound of that. So I'm gonna go off and do liner and mascara and then we can try all three of those lip products together. Okay, so I'm just wiping off that, I had a lip balm on, just wiping that off before I go in with the three different lip products. So I'm gonna start with the one that's on my cheeks because I think I'll probably end up just keeping one of the lip, what, what were these? Lip butters, tinted lip butter. I will probably end up keeping one of these on. So I'll start with the lip and cheek stick and like I say this was coral sunset and let's see I am not sure I like that as a lip colour which is what I thought I did buy this just on the understanding that I would probably like it on my cheeks but not on my lips it's because it's how do I put this because it's for lips and cheeks like it's going to be one or the other i feel like if it's for your cheeks it needs to dry down it needs to sink in and it needs to blend but if it's for the lips it just needs to stay where you put it i prefer it if it doesn't dry down and i would prefer it if it was more of a glossy finish but i would hate a glossy finish for my cheeks you know it's it's one of them so for me I like the colour, I don't like the feeling of that because it's too dry for my lips because I've got very very dry lips which is why I have that lip balm on but if if you like more of a matte lip look and your lips are very hydrated and you don't suffer with dry skin like this gal you'd probably like that on your lips as well as your cheeks but for me that is just going to be a cheek product so let me again wipe that off and I will apply both of those lip butters so that we can see what those colours are like. So I will swatch both of these first. I got 010 Dusty Pink and these are the type of product, they're not the clicky up one that you like click up and then you can't click it back down. It will like twist back down which I love because I would just click way too much up they feel so lovely and creamy and buttery like yeah that name is correct and then we have 020 peach nude again i think they had four of these 
I just got two because I wasn't sure what I would think of the formula but they feel lovely like on the swatch so I think I will judging by those two I think I will probably prefer with this like a very bronzy warm sort of a look I will probably prefer the peach one so I will just apply 010 dusty pink dusty pink sometimes it's dusty and sometimes it's dusky and I always can't read that right this one is dusty pink so let's apply this one that feels lovely that feels if if you have seen my channel before you know the love affair that I have with the MUA satin sheen lip stylos that feels quite a lot like that where it is just feels like a lip balm but gives you a lot of colour like you can see that was just like one little swipe obviously this is like basically the same colour as my lips which I love but that feels lovely and hydrating that is absolutely the formula that I want for just an everyday lip product it does say on here that it is buttery smooth enriched with jojoba seed oil for lips that feel soft I'm guessing it's it is jojoba and not jojoba <laughs> that just sounds silly now that I've said it out loud so let me just get another little bit of tissue and I'll wipe this one off and I'll put that peachy one on because I feel like that is the colour that I am going to absolutely love <laughs> like even after I've wiped that off my lips just feel so much more hydrated after using that one rather than the stick but I do love the stick for the face so <laughs> I really really like that one so let's see what peach nude let's see what this one looks like yeah I love that colour as well definitely um lighter I feel like if you were more of a light to medium skin tone you could probably get away with dusty pink this is a warm peachy colour but I don't feel like this would necessarily suit more of that medium skin tone just because this is light on me and I am fair so if you were more of a medium skin tone this would probably be too light for you but I love that I feel like that just finishes off the like warm glowy beachiness I feel like I've done quite a lot of videos recently where it's like a beachy look and I've also had my hair like this a lot more like the beachy waves not necessarily intentional I was trying to do something perhaps a little bit more different today with the um double eyeliner but that is how that has gone I feel like I need to just look up the other shades in that lip butter formula one moment <laughs> Okay, so there's a brown that isn't necessarily my vibe, but there is also a slightly deeper sort of rosy colour. Not quite a red, but more of like a rosy tone. I could definitely get on board with that, but it's already out of stock. And the lightest shade, the pink one, is already out of stock. So I am really glad that I got these when I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I got both colours as well because both of these are like simple sort of nudie shades that I will just wear all the time. So what have we tried today that I think is worth... A little look into if you are at all interested if you are my sort of skin tone I would definitely say the marble highlighter if you're wanting a glowy bronze sort of a look don't think that you can use this as a highlight unless you like a very dark goldy bronzy highlight <laughs> it won't work for like a brightening highlight but I think I will continue to use this I, honestly Judging by the swatches that I did on the back of my hand, I will probably use the highlight more than the shimmery bronzer just because the undertone of this one as a shimmery bronzer 
is more what I look for. The packaging is incredibly, incredibly difficult to use. If you have any sort of arthritis in your hands or anything that makes opening this sort of packaging quite difficult, it is very, very difficult to open. Like, I did just get some tweezers and there is a hole on the back of here that I like poked my tweezers through to release the little thing that keeps it closed like yeah it will stay closed very very easily if you're traveling with it or whatever but I think that the highlight is definitely the one that I will go for more but I will keep it in my bronzer drawer because it's it's more the undertone that I look for the blush um lip and cheek stick I'm only ever going to use that on my face it's a really like I don't have any highlight on it's a really glowy juicy sort of hydrating formula but it has dried down it doesn't feel sticky in any sort of way it doesn't feel powdery but it does just sort of feel like it's sunk into the skin very very nicely I love the color you absolutely know <laughs> that I love an orangey blush so I really really like that I also love that it's like not a ton of product you know sometimes you get these cheek sticks and they're very wide sticks and also like a load of product in the tube and it's like you'll never finish that <laughs> I do actually think that I could potentially finish that which I love um the lip butters I love these i really really like these i definitely think that these two shades if you are my sort of skin tone are the most wearable but also i love that they've got the slightly deeper shades as well even if they are out of stock so i would love to know have you tried anything new from 17 recently that you think i need to try i honestly I am the biggest fan of Seventeen. I, I buy all of their new releases. I buy all of them myself, but it took me a while to get onto these ones. So let me know, have you seen these in store? Have you seen these on the website? I would definitely love to know if you've tried them, what you think of them as well. I really, really like the way that all of this has turned out, especially with that like double eyeliner. That turned out very well. The white was very, very easy to use. Like I say, not a new product, just new to me. I really, really like that. I'm not sure what I think about the mascara. <laughs> I'm just gonna gloss over that one. Not sure what I think of it. It was um, flicking little bits of black all over my face as I was applying them and I did just have to take a little cotton bud and scrape little bits of black off from all over my face. But other than that, I love all of these products, really, really, I do love them. I love the way that this has turned out. I would love to know what you think down below. If you've made it to the very end of this video, please give this one a big thumbs up. That really does help me out a ton. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye. Hey.